Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you the second time, because this is the first time I did it, the audio wasn't on. Our topic, the six signs, the six signs a guy genuinely cares about you, the six signs. Um, before we get started really quickly, I'm so embarrassed. I just found out that the video I just recorded, the previous one, was without audio and I did a really good job. I'm bummed out. Anyway, well, let's see if we can do it better. Uh, really quickly, if you're in a relationship with a guy and you're frustrated, you're pulling your hair out, you need some perspective and you want some male perspective, then check out the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me to see if working with a coach can help you with this relationship. All right, let's get back to those Six signs a guy genuinely cares about you. Listen, ladies, I know it's incredibly frustrating to be with men, um, just in general, not in general, but because men have often been, con men have been literally conditioned to repress their feelings. Since we were young boys, we were told to stuff it in, be a man, don't express our feelings. So it's oftentimes very difficult to know if a man cares about you because for many men, they don't use their words, they don't use their words to express their feelings. But certainly men do through their actions. So I'm gonna cover those six actions. Well, let's do it this way, six. Um, and to give you a sense of a man who is generally moving towards really wanting to be in a fully committed relationship with you. So the number one is he uses your name frequently. He uses your name in a sentence. He uses your name. He, he, he expresses your name on a regular basis. Now, let me clarify something here because we've been so conditioned that anytime we hear our name, it's like, ah, am I in trouble? Did I do something wrong? Jonathan. But a man who genuinely cares about you is going to use your name in the sense of poetry. It's a, it's a, it literally, your name identifies to who you are. It's a level of intimacy when we use a person's name regularly when we're communicating with them. And while men don't consciously think of this, we certainly, when we genuinely care about someone, we identify with a person's name. So we're gonna use it more frequently. And what usually happens is sometimes we substitute the name with a pet name. Sweetheart, babe, honey, that sort of thing. That shows a another layer of care when we actually start using pet names. Guys who genuinely don't care try to avoid any intimacy. And our name can be one of the most intimate things on a planet because it's such a reflection of who we are. It's on our driver's license. It's on our birth certificates, on every document we have. Sometimes we use a name like for Stephanie, we say Steph. Sometimes we, you know, um, Tamara might be Tammy. I mean, I can't think of a bunch of, Kathleen might be Kathy, that sort of thing. But it's stepping into using a name. And a guy who genuinely cares about you will use your name. Okay, number two, he introduces you to his family and friends. He introduces you to his family and friends. When a guy genuinely cares about you, he wants to show you off to those he cares about and he wants to get their approval as well. Now, sometimes guys rush in in this particular case with introductions really quickly because they um, are oftentimes a little overexcited, but they actually introduce you into their life. It's not just family and friends, but they begin introducing you into his life. And the more a guy does that, the more roots are being established, those roots of building trust, those roots that lead to commitment. Okay, the third <laughs> is he's curious about your life. He's curious about what you do. He's curious about how you think. He's curious about the things that you're curious about. Now, I don't mean things like, do you like sushi? Me too. Do you like stand-up paddleboard? Oh, my favorite sport. Do you like Joe Jackson? Oh my God, my favorite band. I've saw, seen them 10 times. I've actually only seen them six times. And for those that uh, watch my video, I, I, I shared my favorite band is Joe Jackson, uh, late 70s, early 80s, um, new wave band. Um, but anyway, um, I digress. But they're curious about your life. They're, they're saying, oh, you're a yoga instructor. What inspired you to do that? What kind of yoga moves can you show me? Um, how do you help people with yoga? We're drilling down beyond the surface. 
a lot of people are just dancing here at the surface level. And I'm here to suggest let's go deeper, you know, like that iceberg. You know, there's a lot more to it below the surface. And that's what curiosity does. It gets to know you at a deeper level. Okay, number four. I'm looking at my notes, so bear with me. Um, oh, <laughs> Oh, by the way, don't forget to wait for the sixth one because that's the critical one of all of these. But the fourth one is he wants to introduce you to his activities, the things he loves to do. You know, whether it's hiking, whether it's that stand-up paddleboard, whether it's going to Joe Jackson, he wants to introduce you to social activities, hobbies, and mutual interest. I am a big fan of playing gin rummy, and I know for any future partner in my life, I'm going to say, let's get a deck and... Go to a bar and sit and play Jim Rummy for a couple hours while having a cocktail whenever we get to go out. <laughs> but um, and it doesn't have to be Jim Rummy. It can be backgammon or it can be something else. But a man who genuinely cares about you wants to introduce you to his activities, the things he loves to do. And he's going to want to do the things you love to do. A man who genuinely cares about you wants to step into the things you love to do. <sighs> the fifth one. He compliments you. He compliments you. Now, I don't mean he compliments your looks or compliments your dress. He compliments your life. He wants to be an active participant to compliment your life. He wants to do the things in your life that you're doing. And he's going to often do the same. Um, let me pause for a second. Everything I've shared with you, most dysfunctional men aren't going to be doing any of these. I'm talking about those emotionally immature men aren't going to be doing all of these things. This is really for that emotionally mature, that high quality guy that you're all looking for. He's going to want to compliment your life. I was in a relationship with a woman, um, my most significant relationship after my divorce. And um, I would stay at her house uh, three or four nights a week. And... Um, and she had two dogs and we'd be working during the day. And I had a, a break, you know, for several hours. I didn't have any coaching clients and the dogs needed dog food. When she was in the midst of work, I went over to the pet store, bought those 50 pound bags of dog food for her dogs. Because A, I could be her hero by buying those heavy bags, but also I was complimenting her life. It was, we became teammates with one another. We complimented each other, not just you look fantastic, but we wanted to add value, enhance in the life. Okay, the sixth, that sixth, the sixth thing. This is really important. As a man who genuinely cares about you, not only cares about your feelings, but his, your feelings become his feelings. Your feelings become his feelings. And let me give you an example of this. So, um, I was that woman I was in relationship. I mean, I, that was a significant relationship. I learned so much about myself. I healed so many of my childhood wounds. Thankfully, she healed so many wounds together. And while we're not in relationship anymore, we went through such an individual growth. We were meant to come into each other's lives for that reason. But one of the things that she did when we got, uh, um, one of the things that was important to her is if we went to a restaurant, she wanted to check the Yelp reviews and she would read the five star and the one star. Now, for her, doing that was getting a sense of the restaurant, especially if it was a new restaurant, a place she hadn't been before. But that helped create a level of safety for her. To be able to read the reviews, that made her feel safer. And at first, I balked at it. I'll be candid with you. I'm like, who cares about the reviews? I don't care about the reviews. Let's just go to the restaurant. You know, it's going to be a great restaurant. This happened over and over and again for her. And I recognized that this was important for her because it, it told me, she didn't have to say the words, but I recognized that for her, that's how she felt safe. By just reading the reviews to know, you know what, this is a safe place to go. And eventually in our relationship, I'd say, hey, it's Friday night, <laughs> let's go. And if it was a new restaurant, I'd, you know, I'd go on open table, check out the restaurant. Uh, and then I'd go on Yelp and read the reviews because her feelings eventually became my feelings. Her feelings became my feelings. It mattered to me. And this isn't about every feeling. We're not here to feel every feeling, but those things that matter to her matter to me. And that genuinely showed I cared about her and I cared about the relationship. I cared about the we. 
<sighs> wow, that was a mouthful. Hey, I'm just curious. Hey, by the way, I covered six, but I might have missed some. So if you've got one there that a guy has done, please write a comment below. Share something that I might have missed. And this one, how a guy shows you he cares outside of the words. Please write down. And also, if you have a question of me, I do my best to read all of the comments. I try to even respond to some of the questions. So if you have a question, post it below because that might have create fodder for new videos as well. Also, if you need help understanding guys, uh, check out the link below to schedule a discovery call. Or maybe, maybe um, you're interested in my book, What the Heck is Self Love Anyway? And there's a link below to get my book. <laughs> All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do, giving myself, giving myself a big gigantic hug of love. I'm going to invite you to give yourself a big gigantic hug of love. I want you to look to see if there's anyone around you to give them a big gigantic hug of love because guess what? Hugs are the one of the best ways to show love and we can all use a lot of hugs, especially now. Ah, well, thank you so much and I want to wish you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Bye-bye <laughs> now.